Oh, so speaking of guys who like to look at other men's penises, Sal and Richard have been busy. Uh huh. They were torturing um, Riley Martin. You know, I'll play you a little of this. So what the guys do is, you know, Riley's always reading shout-outs and people who yes. support him. He says hello to everyone who he ever runs into. Yeah, so Riley, if he gets an email and everyone goes, Riley, we support you. You should have four hours a day on the station. You get a shout-out. You get a shout-out. So they, they sent in a bunch of shout-outs to Riley, and he read almost every one of them without getting, you know, getting, without catching on. Right. So w one was from Jenna to Warts. A genital warts. Yeah. Genital warts, yeah. basically. Anita Rimjob. Loose stool. L O U stool. You know, loose stool. All right. Which is really loose stool. Uh, Kimmy Head. <laughs> Mike Oxmall. Mike Cocksmall. You know, they got that one on. Eaton Twats. Uh, so fond of Cox. Uh, Eileen Ulick. Uh, will, he, will, will he fist her gash? And huge asshole. And he got them all on wow. with Riley. And Riley just... As long he just as you, goes through it. As long as you send a complimentary email, he'll read it. Yeah. He doesn't care what it is. So here, I'll give you that. I'll give you these rapid fire. It's quite impressive. Okay. Here we go. It took me a second to locate it in my vast computer files. We are glad that you are here. <laughs> uh, some lovely people sent words of encouragement. Uh, for instance, the beautiful girls in Atlantic City, Jenna Terwatts, Stephanie Jones, and Anita, Anita Rimjob. All right, so we got genital warts and Anita Rimjob. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as well as the mailroom guys, Brian Heffron, Loose Stool. Loose Stool. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy Head. Kimmy, Kimmy Head. Chris Anderson. I have a quick email here. <laughs> okay. This is from Mike Ox Mall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Cox Mall. Yes. In the Dallas. Okay. He says, I love the show, and I am starting a petition to have you on four days a week. Now, all these petition emails are all from, you know, those two <laughs> That's Sal and Richard. Right. I hope you read this on. I think we got Eaton Twats coming up next. <laughs> in the air. Well, I love it. And this uh -huh. is Mike in Dallas. This is from a gentleman who's just a huge fan of the show. Mm -hmm. His name is Eton Twat, T-W-O-T-S. <laughs> Eton Twat. Twat. Yeah. Okay. He says, I look forward to Howard's vacation because it usually means that there will be a 7 p.m. Riley Martin show. Well, thank you. Neither one of them. It wasn't mm. Eron isn't even catching that. So Fonda Cox is coming up. And Eileen, you lick. <laughs> I really hope this is the case because this Wednesday, August 25th, is my 40th birthday. Beautiful. Yes. Happy birthday. Good man. And a 7 p.m. Riley Martin show will be the perfect way to kick off my birthday night celebration. Happy cool. He said, and that, those guys get all excited. But meanwhile, it's just Richard and Sal. Right. They, look at all the support we've got. Yeah. Look at this. It's overwhelming. Guys starting a petition. All right. I think so fond of Cox is coming up next. His wife bought him a symbol for his 38th birthday two years ago, and it has brought him so much good fortune that he bought additional film symbols for all of his co-workers last year. A beautiful. Thank you so much for your brilliance, Riley. I really hope that Howard will one day wise up and give you the four hours that you deserve. When he does, I will definitely, definitely be there listening. I love you, Riley. Sincerely, Eton Twats, New Jersey. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Eton. Uh, I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All right, this is from two women, and uh, they say, Riley, me and my girlfriend absolutely love your show. Thank you, dear. We are two women, and you bring a smile to our faces every time you are on. <laughs> I, will be, I will be emailing Howard and demand you get a raise. Thank you. Can you please give us a shout-out on your show? <laughs> Thanks. With much love and respect. These names are Sofonda Cox and... Okay. Eileen Ulick. So Fonda and Eileen, <laughs> shout out my darling. So Fonda Cox and Eileen Ulick. I'm telling you, just just come up with a funny name. They'll yeah. read it as long as it's supporting the show. I think Willie Fistergash is coming up next. And huge asshole for the All big right. finish. Well, now, before we get to the call, All right. before we get to the call, I want to mention some very special guys. Uh, these guys here, they say, Riley, your show makes our day. 
The only reason why we've continued to subscribe, uh, me and my buddies, we get together every week at the poker game and listen to your show. <laughs> uh -oh. And they say, you know, give us a shout out if you would. It'll make our year. I'm talking about none other than the great Derek and Stuart. Uh, Lehman, uh, Willie uh, Fistergash, and uh, the great Steve Lewis. And none other than the Hugh Jask, uh, Jask, uh, Jassel, 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 <laughs> Hugh Jassel. Uh, happy shout out, guys. You oh, know, my goodness. And it's so great, too, because Riley, <laughs> he, he, here's the problem. Richard and Sal blow him up, and then and he gets then nuts. he's going to use this in his negotiations. Yeah, because Richard and Sal write him stuff like, the only reason we subscribe to Sirius is for the Riley Martin right. show. And then he reads that, and he 